because a lot of artists are going through that today and they need to know how to get through that right. and expressing yourself you know ain't it's not like an embarrassing thing you feel me to let motherfuckers know what was going on and why you didn't reach these heights or why you didn't go as far as these artists when you was just right there so right. you know i would <clears throat> love to know like what the <clears throat> fuck you know you was doing uh, man I, i'll say some stuff you feel me i'll say uh I was young, you know what I mean, and eager to, you know, just to make it out of my hood and provide for my family. Uh, so I did a lot of, like, spontaneous things that I wish I could, like, rethink. But then when I get to thinking that, it's like, if I didn't do it, then what, what if I wouldn't have accomplished anything? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it's hard juggling those two things, right? And then uh, another thing is, uh, you know, bad management. You know what I'm saying? Just having, you know, people that didn't believe in me like I believed in myself, you know what I'm saying, around me and didn't see the full vision like how I saw it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it was a lot of that going on. It was a lot of politics, bro, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of people wanting their they hands in, in the pot that I had, you know what I'm saying? Like, I even had people coming up to tell me, like, like man, like, people is looking at you like money. Back when I was just, like, 18, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't even on the radio or anything yet at that moment, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just knew I was in this hot seat, you feel me? And... uh in my mind at that time, I'm thinking is I'm, I'm just saying like, I know it's gonna be rocky, but some telling me just to keep, just to go anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like just to risk myself. You know what I'm saying? In this contractual stuff, and hopefully something good come out of it. That was what how I convinced myself to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as like signing any kind of contracts and paperwork in the beginning of uh, me having uh, protection, like lawyers involved or any of that. You know what I'm saying? So. Again, it was just a lot of that. Um, <laughs> it's hard to go into details about it because the industry is, is 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 wicked. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, because as an artist, it's a lot of artists when they feel like they ain't doing good or they ain't reaching the heights that they should be going, they doing like they always blame the management. You know what I'm saying? Or right. the management wasn't doing this, or the <clears throat> management wasn't doing this. Like, yeah, but I, was I, that, I you know, you. What, 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 you know, I will say this. Okay. <laughs> It was bigger than the management, but the management was a pawn in why things, you know what I'm saying, didn't didn't progress for me in, in ways that it could have. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was so many big opportunities. Like, you know, one being, you know, QC. You know what I'm saying? Like, they looked at me, you know, uh, from the jump of my career. As soon as I had slide through my one of my biggest singles out, um, they came straight to me and flew me out to Atlanta. I went, you know, this was before Lil Baby and that's everybody. That's how I got the Migos on uh, the remix. Yeah, that's how I got the Migos on the remix. You know what I'm saying? I sat down with them. We was at Rue Chris, me, Coach KP. You know what I'm saying? And uh, everything, you know, they showed me around Atlanta. They showed me the studios. Everything was everything. I loved everything that I seen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when I called the manager and reported back and let her know, like, you know, I, I'm fucking with the situation. You know what I'm saying? That's not what the plans were. You know what I'm saying? In 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 her mind and the people that was behind her mind. They had so much power over me, a lot of people, you know, wouldn't have known. You know what I'm saying? So it makes it complicated. They to had speak. power, they had power over the, your decision making. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Cause you were young. Yeah. But it was also just it was it was it was grimy. It get it get political. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, contractual. So do you yeah. do you regret a lot of you know, do you regret that one decision? <sighs> I mean, cause you can you can definitely DM my nigga right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and I've look, done. Check I've this done out. that. I've done that. I've done my due diligence, but I've yeah. also understood, like, you know, how they could look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I can't blame them for it either. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they hearing me out, but for all they know, that could be some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you already know how this this yeah. shit go. You yeah. feel yeah. me? Like, they offered the opportunity on their end. You know what I'm saying? If I'm them, I'm like, okay, we offered you the opportunity when we before we even made it to our highest peak as 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 as, the, as far as where they at now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And they could feel a way about that. Somebody trying to return back after. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I mean, it's like now to them it's like well, of course you want to come back and you know what I'm saying? Come, come yeah, nigga. Us. <laughs> we you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So 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 I've done my due diligence on that, but I did that not even, you know, um hoping for them to sign me or anything like that. I just needed Coach K to know. Um, just mentally, um, you know, where, where I was at at that time. Because Coach K was real, you know, he was a real solid dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could think back. I was I, I was broken around that time, right? 
and I remember they kind of scammed our flights to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? The management or something, right? Me and my cousin go down there, and then we get stranded at basically. We couldn't come back. Like, we went to the airport. The flights, are, I guess, back didn't work for us or something like that, right? Yeah. And we called Coach K, and we was like, man, we stranded at the airport, Coach. And Coach said, it's good. I got y'all. I'm going to buy y'all some tickets right now. And bought us, you know, me and my cousin some tickets back home. Love for the gate. And then they, you and his son. But I wanted to. I swear to God, bro. I called the management right after the meeting and was so excited as far as what I seen. I'm like, I seen camaraderie. That's something that we don't got in Oakland. You know when, what I'm saying? When in your career did you figure out, like, you know what? I can, I, I'm in control of this shit. When Waka told me, Waka Flocka. And it was just too late after that point. You get what I'm saying? But Why didn't you think you were in control when you're the nigga, who, the artist, you feel me? You're the one creating the music. You're doing the thing. This is on your back. Being in poverty, bro. You know what I'm saying? And being manipulated. And then being shown that they could stop my career mm. in ways that <laughs> is crazy, bro. Like, it, it'll spook you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Was that just tell a, you a story. was that a Bay Area thing? Politics ways where they was like, you know what, we this gonna some, stop this all some, this, this shit. Some, this some, this some, it's bigger than the Bay. Yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? It's bigger than the Bay shit. I'll just tell you this little bit of story. One day I got a call. My single on the radio. You feel me? One day I get a call. He like, uh, we want you to listen to the radio all day today. I'm like, all right. I'm thinking everything all good. I listened all that day. That night come, I didn't the whole day. I didn't hear my song not one time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like and they what? said they and they called me and they said, "Did you notice anything today?" I'm like, "Yeah, I, I didn't hear myself." They said exactly. Wow, they was playing that type of game with a nigga. So how do you explain something like that to people? And how do you explain something like that to Coach K? How yeah. you explain something like that to Quavo? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. I mean, cause you would, ex if me, you would, I would have to voice my little opinion like, bro, can you help me get the fuck up out this shit? I'm about to die in this shit. Because these niggas got me fucked up. 